so they can hear us all. We're, we're live now? We're over here? Oh, they can't? Okay. Okay. So, yeah, so, uh, so this first song is called Maybe. Um, definitely with this song, this one, it, it, uh, it's a little bit more emotional. I, when I wrote it, I wrote it for a different reason. Uh, but it's, it's emotional because I, I played it at a show, and I was dead sick, like dead sick. And, um, and this lady, she was in the back row, like on the back row of the gig, and she like turned around, and she started like, she was like, she looked like she was crying. I thought she was just drunk, because I see drunk crying people all the time at gigs. And so I played it, and then she like was crying. She was really like looking and really paying attention. And then uh, later on in the gig, I was feeling like shit. I couldn't think of any other song, so I played it again. And she was up in the front row, and she started like crying again. And it, it, it really was like I was, she tipped, she put something in the tip jar. And then um, after that set, I went and talked to her, and she was, uh, she was like, hey, um, I just want to let you know, what was that song called? And I was like, it's called Maybe. And she was like, oh, who sings it? And I told her it was one of my own. And uh, she was like, oh, that, that song really touched me because it reminded me of my husband. And so long story short, we started talking, and she was telling me that her husband, that story really related to her and her husband and how they met. Um, and she ended up telling me that, that that was like, I think it was in September of last year. She told me that in May, they always usually go to uh, this place in Mexico. They go there for 13 years. They've gone there for 13 years for their anniversary. And that's like one of their favorite places to go. And uh, well, they ended up going scuba diving. And uh, he ended up passing. He ended up drowning. And uh, she couldn't save him. And it was like a really, really emotional story. And she was just crying and just being out there, just trying to get over it. And uh, it really touched me. So like this song no longer means the same meaning that what I wrote it for. It means like what she thought of it as, you know. So um, I hope you guys like it. It's called Maybe. And if Anne's listening to this, I hope you like it. Awesome. Take it away, bro. It's all yours. Stage is yours.
Very, very nice, Jose. <coughs> Jose, tell us, tell us a little bit about about uh, that pedal that you have down there. Um, I know we didn't, we forgot to talk about it. I wanted to oh, talk yeah. about it, but uh, we didn't we didn't really get a chance to to really get into that. So tell the people what you're doing with that pedal. So with this uh, loop pedal, you're able to uh, loop harmonies or and also beats and uh, guitar strums. So like, I'll do a little little demonstration. See. So, you put that left one, the left pedal right there, to re start recording. So, for instance, if I wanted to do, uh, and it just keeps recording. And you don't, you don't have to, and you don't have to touch it anymore. There we go. So. Yeah, so you don't have to touch it. And then the right one stops it. And then you can keep going. I think you play better uh, drums on your guitar than I do on the actual drum. So you can do <laughs> stuff like that, so. Excellent, man. I just wanted to... Uh, for people that don't really don't really are not exposed to that type of situation, I wanted to to kind of put that out there. But keep going, man. Don't let me interrupt you. Great no, song, sure. man. Great voice. Keep going, bro. You, the stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think definitely that would help clear out what I was doing. They're like probably like, what the hell is he doing? He's just clipping pedals over there. All right. So uh, this next song is called Kane. I uh, hope y'all like it. It's about cocaine. Um, and it was one of my friends. He. Uh, he was going through some hard stuff, and the lady, uh, the lady he was with, and is still with, um, gave him the ultimatum. It's either me or this stuff. So I hope you like it. It's 
the bodies being burned. Four walls just staring at the brother. I'm paranoid, sleeping with my finger on the trigger. My mother's always stressing I ain't living right. But I ain't going out without a fight. See, every time my eyes close, I start sweating. And blood starts coming out my nose. There's somebody watching me, yeah. And I don't know who it is, so I'm watching my back. I can see him when I'm deep in the covers. When I'm awake, I don't see the motherfucker. He owns a black hat like I own. A black suit and a cane like my own. Some might say, take a chill beat, but fuck that shit. There's a brother trying to kill me. I'm popping in the clip when the wind blows. Every 20 seconds got me peeping out my window. Investigate the joint for trap side. I check my telephone for tap. The rolling on the corner It's fucked up when your mind's playing tricks Gets the best of us all And I used to wake up and I did it in the morning Just to get through class cause it was so damn boring I started acting different around my friends They started saying I was acting kinda, kinda foreign And yup, you said you had enough I knew this time it wasn't a fun or a bluff And when you left I knew enough is enough uh, Enough is enough And oh, you gotta stop right now I've seen that shit take people to the ground I'm not going through the pain of uh, watching you go completely insane. And oh, you say you can't feel your pain, and you can't feel the pain. Oh, stop doing the game. Stop doing the game. Stop doing the game. Yeah, so we uh we threw some ghetto boys in there. My friend uh obviously got off the cane, so shout bro, out to you, bro. that was phenomenal. Thank you, brother. Jose Thank Ortega, you. live from R and R Studio. For sure. Thank you for having us, bro. I bro, really appreciate you having us in the you, hospitality. It's a pleasure to always have you come by and say hi, bro. I'm getting a lot of somebody just texts me. Sounds amazing, dude. Way to go. Somebody's like people are texting me. People are watching you on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, bro. Hey, uh, what are you drinking, Jose? What are you drinking, bro? Uh, we're, we're sponsored by Crawford Bach. Uh, Houston <laughs> over here. You know, uh, you know Crawford Bach. What is it? What is it? The, uh, yep. Carbach. Oh, 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 Carbach. Carbach. Well, I was thinking, uh, yeah, well, this is the particular you mean, beer. You mean, you mean we're looking for sponsorship? We are. Yes. You know, hey. Especially beer sponsorship. That would be great. We are. We are <laughs> going to be. We're going to be shooting out some, some emails to some people after a couple of hundred. Sh no, after a couple of shows. See what, see what we're all about, man. Thank you again, man. Keep going. The stage is yours. Do not let me distract you, bro, because I will. Oh, no, no. It's, it's no problem at all, bro. You're, you're a bud, bro. We talk. We can talk all day. <laughs> all right. So um, this next one, I think it would be a cool one. Uh, it's a real artist. That, uh, well, not real artist, but a uh, favorite artist of mine that his music was super dear to me. Um, and he passed away this year. Um, so I, I hope you all like it. It's, uh, it's a cover of Mac Miller. It's called uh, Don't Know. Uh, but I hope you like it, man. Uh, it really hits in the feels. But. She do whatever she like. And that just don't seem right. Fucking almost missed my flight. I wasn't even tripping, I said it's alright. And goddamn, we was here last night. Wouldn't you rather get along? 
Wouldn't you rather get along? You was coughing when you hear my way, yeah. And I never seen you feel that free, yeah, 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 yeah. So cute, you wanna be like me, yeah. Wouldn't you rather get along? Wouldn't you rather get along? Until, until there is no longer. And let's get lost inside the cloud. But you ain't gotta work harder. I can calm you down. I can calm you down. I was busy when you hit my phone You say you miss me, tell me come back home Oh, you don't like to sleep alone I'm always taking too long I'm always taking too long We don't need a trip, we could be right here Shit, get away, we can switch our gears I wanna see them lips, see me ear to ear I wanna hear your song Oh, I wanna feel just how you feel Touch you one more time so I know you're real We can spin that wheel, wouldn't you rather get along? So R.I.P. Mac Miller, man. Very Big cool, fan. man. Very, yeah. very, very, very cool. I really like that one. Uh, it really touched. I feel like we're, like we're all really big fans of that. So uh, I hope uh, whoever's listening, we did it some justice. So, um, yeah, so we got another song called uh, Fucked Up. Uh, and we, uh, I wrote it at a mad time, I guess you'd say. Um, Basically, the song is basically the gist of you got me fucked up for treating me like this. But in all honesty, I was probably the more fucked up person. So <laughs> so that girl probably, God bless her, man. She was an angel. But um, You were just being salty? Man, I was being salty, bro. I, I was being <laughs> salty. I'm not going to lie. I took a look at my inner self and was like, hey, uh, you're kind of a dick, bro. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so, like uh, at that point, so, you know. That's <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I love this song, by the way. Oh, thank you. We recorded here in the studio a few days ago. We did, we did. I can't wait. To, well, we mix it up. It'll be nice. Yeah, bro. Nice. Here we go.
what's on my mind It's played about two dozen times I'm just trying to say what's right Fuck it I'll just say, I'll just say What comes to mind You got me fucked up on To play me like this You got me fucked up on To treat me like shit I gotta keep my heart on the swivel When my heart's on the line Plus I got about six or seven times You got me fucked up on Play me like this You could say I ignored the sign Maybe once or twice or even three times And yes, you yeah, ignored me and caused me so much pain I stayed faithful, I know you can't say the same A couple girls tried to show me some leg But I never took the bait cause you were on my brain And I, and ladies, if you hear this fucking song You can call me right back and I can please you on that long You got me fucked up on to play me like this like You got me fucked up on To play me like a bitch I'm not gonna lie Sex was gay, won't hesitate to say To say, said to change in my state You got me fucked up You got me fucked up fucked up but that's probably I was definitely worse so I'll say that so we'll but fuck it one more time we'll do it again you got me fucked up on to play me like this yeah 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 you got me fucked up on to play me like a bitch Jose, what a pleasure to have you in the studio, buddy. Thank it's you. It's a buddy. pleasure, man. Um, always, you're always welcome. Always welcome with your original music. Love your voice. Uh, so tell tell the people how can they find you on the social media so that they can get in touch. So besides this stream going live, we're gonna put up all your social media anyways. But tell them where they can find you. Uh, so you can find me pretty much, I guess, uh, anywhere on social media. Uh, Silver Medalist Two. 
I had to put silver medalist too because there's so many Jose Ortegas. <laughs> uh, there's well, it's well, a very common well, bro, name if you well, didn't know. Well, bro, my name is Jose yeah. as well. <laughs> hey, bro, my name is Juan. Juan. Your name is Juan. <laughs> Vela como Juan hey, la Juan Cubana. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> That's cool, man, dude. Well, it's been a pleasure, man. Uh, any anecdotes you want to tell the people before before we? Before we finish the stream, anything, any guys you want to share? Uh, definitely check out Richie's band, The Drummer. Yeah, Richie has an awesome band called Rise of the Broken. They play awesome music. You. Chuck, go ahead. You let, I'll let you do it. That's your band, bro. Yeah, so uh, I play drums for a band called The Rise of the Broken. Uh, we do, like, alternative rock stuff. Um, a little heavier than this, more uh, rock and roll stuff. But, uh, I mean, it's just fun, laid back, chill. Well, hopefully we can get you in here, bro. Hopefully we can get you here that in the studio. Awesome. I've been asking you, bro. You never return my phone calls. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just kidding, guys. I probably thought it was a bill collector. <laughs> 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 guys, thank you very much for joining us and tonight. And uh, Juan, bro. Oh, and Juan. Thank you yeah. for having uh, us, man. He's just a bassist, bro, that is playing in all different kinds of bands. Amazing bassist. Picks up stuff so easily. I want to thank him for being out here, bro. Thank you so much. Man, it's, a, it's a pleasure to be just part of this sound, man. It's amazing. <laughs> Well, thank you guys. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, remember, if you're on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can find me as Roger Ramirez Official because if, as my name is Jose. There's so many. There is just as many Rogers, but you want the official Roger. If you're on Facebook and YouTube, uh, if you're on Facebook, share the event. We want to make sure that Jose's music is heard. And uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. Thank you very much. It's been a total pleasure.